I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an absolutely amazing day today. I know I am because last week they announced that we're getting a new kit and it has to do with plants and I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been wanting this kit for what feels like forever. Except I thought it was gonna be a stuff pack, but it's fine. Anyway, before we get started with today's beach house, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Disney Mochi Blitz for sponsoring today's video. You can download the game by clicking on the link at the top of the description box or the one in the pinned comment. However, I'm also still doing my giveaway, so if you want to learn how you can join, definitely stick around and listen. Disney Emoji Blitz is unlike any other Match 3 game on the market right now because each emoji that you choose to play with has its own unique power. So it's both strategic, challenging, and it's all Disney themed, which makes it super cute. And I have a new favorite emoji, by the way, which I'm excited for. My new favorite emoji is R2D2, my favorite android in the entire world, or worlds, universes? It's fine. Came through with his ability. It's amazing, you gotta check it out. If you're big on collecting in games such as I am myself, you will love Disney Emoji Blitz because there are new emojis added every single week from both Disney, Pixar, and Star Wars movies. Plus, you can collect emojis from different categories such as silver, gold, rainbow exclusive, as well as story and villain emojis. And all the emojis that you collect in game are actually gathered on a special keyboard so you can use them to send them to your family and friends. And if you're a Star Wars fan, there is actually Star Wars events in the game throughout the year. The next one is the Mandalorian event, which is coming out to all honor the release of the series The Book of Boba Fett, which is going to be on Disney+, Plus. so I think that's pretty exciting. Past Star Wars events have included emojis such as the child who we love and adore, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, C-3PO, R2-D2, Anakin Skywalker, Kylo Ren and Rey, and so, so many more. And if you play throughout November, you'll actually be able to collect some of those emojis from the past events as well as new ones, so you should definitely get started right now. And as for the giveaway, I'm giving away one one pack for The Sims 4 of your choice. And all you gotta do is download Disney Emoji Blitz by clicking on the link at the top of the description box or the one in the pinned comment. Then get to level 20 and take a screenshot of yourself hitting level 20 and send it to me in a DM on either Twitter or on Instagram. And you can find my socials as always linked in the description box. And if you're already level 20 and you also want to join the giveaway, you still can. All you got to do then is take a before and after screenshot of yourself gaining five levels. So say that you're level 20, you take a screenshot, then get to level 25, take another screenshot, and then send both of the screenshots to me. And that is it. The giveaway is worldwide. It includes console players as well as PC players. So literally all of you can join. And that is all. So I wish you the best of luck. And by the way, the link works as a creator code. So all money that you spend in game actually helps support me and the channel. So thank you again so, so much to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. I wish you all the best of luck with the giveaway. Now let's get to this beach house, shall we? So today we are building a beach house for a family and I really wanted this one to be stylish. I kind of tried something different with the interior. Not really. I tried gray flooring, which <laughs> is not something that I have used much of because I feel like whenever you use gray flooring, everything else has to be monochrome because otherwise it just looks kind of odd. However, I tried not to make it monochrome, so there's not a lot of color in it, but I really wanted to make the gray floor work. Okay, that's basically, that was my goal with this house. But don't misunderstand me and think that this is a colorful home because it definitely is not. I was just desperately trying to make brown wooden furniture work with the gray floor. I know, it's a whole thing, it's fine. I just have a thing with gray floors that I wanted to overcome, basically. So we're building this beach house. It's built on a 30 by 20 in Windenburg and it is for two parents, one kid, no, a pair of twins. So I think at least, or is it one teen or and one kid? I think it might be one teen and one kid. They both have really, really small bedrooms. So, cause I placed all the bedrooms on the second floor. So it's basically underneath, it's basically in the attic. There's like loft rooms and such. There's roofing over it, which if you want to know how I did that, I think I included kind of a tutorial on it in my A-frame build, by the way, or in my A-frame tutorial. So it's kind of the same way to go about it, if that makes any sense. You have to split up the roof so that it's not covering the rooms when you're decorating. It's Otherwise it gets really annoying. I know that some people don't care about that, but I personally do. I don't like the roofing to be in the way when I'm decorating. I know that it disappears in gameplay mode or in live mode, 
But when I'm decorating, I want to be able to see where I'm placing furniture. So I basically just split up the roof so that it wouldn't be covering everything. So, and if you want to learn how you can do that as well, I'm pretty sure I did something like it in the A-frame tutorial. So go check that out. Otherwise, I'm sure, actually I did the same in my loft wind, or what was it called? Sky, skylight, skywit, skylights? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I've done a couple of tutorials. You can find it on my channel. It's all good. It'll be explained in one of them, either the skylights or the A-frame. It's basically just the same way to go about it. So yeah, and also the exterior of this house, at least the front of it, was inspired by a picture that I found on Pinterest. However, I had to change it up a lot because the, the way that the roofing was made just looked really odd in The Sims. You probably saw it at the start. I was trying to make it look a lot like it, but it just... No, <laughs> it just wasn't looking right, so I had to change it. I don't know, it really looked super cute, and that's honestly why I, like, the the odd shape of the house, and also the way that the roof was made on the original house, was honestly the reason that I went with that picture to start out with, but then when I tried to do it replicated, or whatever it's called, in The Sims, it just looked all kinds of wrong, so I had to change it. I'm okay with the final outcome. I would have wanted the original house to have worked in The Sims, but it just wasn't working for me. Maybe I'll give it another go at some point where I'm feeling a little bit less particular <laughs> or something. I don't know. Um, it just really was looking kind of odd. And also it dawned on me that windows were going to be an issue because I don't want all the attic rooms to be totally dark. That's also why I'm adding these like uh, bum outs that are basically dormer looking windows. So we can add a little bit of light in there and that wasn't really an option with the original build. So I just switched it up a little bit, but I hope that is okay. I might go back to the other build at some point and try to redo it, but I am not going to make any promises. I will say this week is going to be a little bit slow for me. I'm not sure if I'll have more than two videos up. But that's because I'm in Copenhagen for three days and then I have this this uh, market thing on Sunday where I'm selling clothes. So <laughs> I don't know. I will have a little bit of a hard time trying to pre-record as well because it's currently Tuesday. And I've been editing some other videos on my other channel. So this will probably be a slow week. But they did announce today that, because I'm recording this Tuesday, they did announce that we were gonna get a new kit next Tuesday, which is super exciting. And it's a plant kit. And I think I talked about it in my last voiceover because there was a leak done by Microsoft as per usual. And you know, I'm a plant person, <laughs> very big plant person. My whole background is basically just books and plants. And I feel like that pretty much sums up my personality or my hobbies or my private life, <laughs> basically. So. I am really excited for it. I think it comes with like 24 items or something like that. And a lot of them are basically plants. There's a couple of tables as well and a couple of like uh, shelving units and stuff. I don't, I've only seen a picture and I probably shouldn't talk about it until the pack is out. Um, it's a picture on tw Twitter, by the way. <laughs> so I've not seen anything. Don't, you know. It could be subject to change. And normally I also overlook these links, or leaks, not links. I just try to not focus on them too much because I just, I don't know. It feels kind of wrong sometimes, but I'm really excited for this kit, actually. It does not make up for the fact that we did not get a game pack or a stuff pack or an expansion pack this last, last half year, but, or these last six months, but when I say the last six months, I mean my last half of the year because we did get an expansion pack in June. But, <laughs> but I'm super excited for this kit. I feel like this was something that I really wanted. I've probably been saying it a lot as well that I wanted a uh, plant stuff pack. So I hope that it delivers. We'll see once I get the items in my game. We're definitely gonna do an overview on Tuesday because you know, like I said in last week's uh, video voiceover, I don't remember which one it was, but I said that I was gonna sit here and do an overview and actually tell you guys the names of the plants, at least the ones that I can recognize because I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. 
and we're gonna nerd out a little bit plant nerding out yes so i am excited for this pack i've been wanting it and i also saw that some of you actually tagged me in the tweet with the leak which i appreciate <laughs> that just show, goes to show that you you know me so yeah i appreciate it a lot anywho and let's talk about plant kits and stuff i don't know i still feel kind of odd about kits but we're not going to get into that today. I don't think so. So anyway, we have been, uh, we've decorated the kitchen so far. We're working on the, I almost called it a sunroom, but this is just the living room. I decided to place it one level down because I liked how it looked. And I also like when the two levels are different or have different flooring on them. So there is a nice play between the tiles here on the floor in the living room and then the rest of the uh, house being like a hardwood floor, I suppose it is. I don't know. I like how it looks together, so I just do that quite often, especially with tile and then wooden floors because it just looks nice together. I also don't really, you guys know, I don't use carpet because I just know. It's not for me, so <laughs> I just know. I basically just stick to my hardwood floors and also tiles and the like, so yeah. So despite me wanting this house to be very styled, I also didn't want it to look like a showroom. I still wanted it to have a cozy, homey feel to it, which I feel can sometimes be a little bit of a challenge cause homey feels to me is a lot like there's clutter, there's maybe a chair that's not placed absolutely perfectly, if you get what I mean. There's maybe like a random item somewhere in the room and that's what I was trying to do with the ottoman next to or the poof chair next to the bookcase. Also the frames above the TV as well next to the fireplace or oven or whatever you call that item. I'm not really sure. I love that item though, but I just don't know the proper word for it. Um, but I was just trying to make it look a little bit less perfectly placed and just have a little bit of quirkiness to it despite still trying to go for the styled look, so that's what that was about. I realize that the frames are probably gonna annoy some people, but I like the way they hang right there, so I just had to point them out. Anyway, and then of course the dining room. I didn't really have room for a lot of... I didn't have place for a lot of things in here because I didn't want to cause any rooting issues, so there's not a lot going on in here, but they do have the walk-in wardrobe where I'm basically just expecting them to keep like coats and stuff like that. I feel like it's very realistic to have either a wardrobe or a closet or something like that close to the front door. So I couldn't fit it in that hallway, but I did place it in the dining room. So you just have to like walk through the house a little bit, like th walk through the kitchen and then into the dining room and you can get to it. I don't know, it's close enough to the front door for me, but it's also right next to the side door, which leads to the backyard. So I feel like it's okay. And then for the second floor, we are working on the parents' bedroom, which is also quite empty, actually. I don't know what that is about. I think it's just because the room is super small, and I, again, did not want to cause any rooting issues. I could have probably placed down a chair or something over here by the dressers, but then it would look like it was blocking the dressers as well, so... That's a little bit annoying, because why would you put a chair in front of your dresser, then you can't open the drawers, do you get what I mean? And other than that, just didn't want to block the bed. I did a I did an apartment last week where one of the sides of the bed was blocked and it's been annoying me since. So I'm not doing that again. Or I'm never gonna say never, but if I can avoid it, I'm definitely not gonna do that again. It was supposed to be for a single parent, but as per usual, I want you guys to be able to choose what kind of family you want living in the house. So at least like the composition of the family, does that make sense? <laughs> the composition, that sounds so fancy. Like yeah, uh, if you want two kids in this house, you can change the teen's room to a kid's room instead. It would be very easy. Just take out a few things and add another couple of things and you got it, you know? If you don't want there to be a single parent in the house, you want two parents, you can do that. I want it to be possible for you to have just about any kind of family living in the home if you really love the home, do you get what I mean? So it was it was kind of bugging me because of that. So I actually it just reminded me I think I've rounded three and a half million downloads on the gallery or something. It's not really something that I check a lot, but I have I checked yesterday or the day before. I think I have 150,000 followers on there and three and a half million downloads, which is absolutely insane. What? I just like I said, I don't really check it. So when I do, it kind of hits me that it's 
crazy. I don't know. If you download my builds, thank you. I just want to say thank you. Um, at that, yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of downloads. I don't. That's too many downloads for me to fully comprehend. I just want to point out, like, whenever I come across a, a YouTube channel with more than a million subscribers, I am like, what the heck? Because I come from a small country. We're only. 5.7 or 5.8 million people here. It's basically like a small state in the US. So my country is tiny. Whenever I see a channel with 1 million subscribers, I think that is one sixth of my population, my country's population. It is absolute like huge numbers. So getting 3.5 million downloads on the gallery just seems like a whole like crazy amount. So I don't know, you just gotta put things into perspective. It's a lot, okay? So I'm very grateful, thank you. I was not trying to brag by the way. I literally just checked Sunday and it says something like that. Maybe I saw the numbers wrong. Honestly, would not surprise me. I was pretty tired, let's be real. I have a hard time counting when I'm tired, but it seemed like a lot, so I just want to say thank you. That was a whole rant, but I hope I didn't make it awkward. And if I did, I'm sure you all are used to it by now. We've been through this a couple of times. Um, I've had this channel for like four and a half years. So if you didn't know I'm awkward by now, now you know and welcome to the club. So anyway, I had a hard time with this specific little situation over here because I really wanted there to be half walls. So I'm going to explain exactly what I did here. Not that this is like a massive trick or anything like that, but I really wanted there to be a gate on the half wall, which you can't do, at least not so it functions. So what I did instead was I added half walls and then where the gate is supposed to be, I just added a small a small fence and then it worked. And I actually like the look of it, so I'm probably gonna do that at some other point as well. I just really, I don't like when you can walk straight into a backyard. I need there to be a gate or something like that. I don't really know why. It just feels more closed off for some reason, <laughs> even though you can't, well, you can lock the gates in The Sims, I suppose, but in real life, I wouldn't necessarily lock the gate because then the mailman can't get to the door, whatever. I never put fencing around the whole house in The Sims either because I just don't like how it looks. So I always do it around the backyard though. But I just meant in real life, I probably wouldn't lock the front gate because then the mailman can't get to the mailbox. At least not where we don't have mailboxes here. So they would put like mail through the letter opener. The letter opener? That's not what it's called. That's something else. It's so small, snappy things. The, the, I forgot what it's called. The opening in the door where you push in mail. I forgot what they're called. Let's move on before I have some kind of identity crisis because I don't remember this very specific word. That's probably very self-explanatory once one of you guys will write it down. <laughs> but we have those, mainly those, in Denmark at least. So if you have a fence around the whole house and you lock the, the gate, I mean, the mailman could probably just like, you know, reach over and unlock it, but let's not, let's just pretend like that's not a thing. Um, the mailman would not be able to deliver the mail, so. This is not important to the build whatsoever. I just don't like having fence around the whole build in The Sims. I don't like how it looks, but I always, ha almost always at least, have it around the backyard and today's no exception. But I wanted there to be a gate because I wanted it to be closed off, so. Because it's a very open area. We're building on the island in Windenburg and it's just a very open area. I don't know, I just like them to have a little closed off little space in the backyard just for this family. I'm not really sure if the landscaping around this house fits with the surrounding area here on the island, but honestly with this house I decided to just ignore that. Usually I will take inspiration from the surrounding area and see what kind of plants they've been using and then use them for the house. But I just felt like this house needed a little bit more. It needed some flowers or something because otherwise it would just end up being a little bit too because it's beige. So we needed something to spice it up if you get what I mean. Otherwise it's just a little bit too beige. So I ended up adding some flowers but I'm pretty sure the surrounding area does not actually have a lot of flowers. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not sure, okay? <laughs> anyway, as for the backyard, they have a pool even though they have access to the ocean. They still have a pool. I know luxury people, congratulations, you can afford that. And they also have an outdoors dining area with room for an extra guest. So that is cool. Plus a big grill. There's a small sand pit with a jungle bar. That's what it's called, monkey bar. That thing for the kid that they can kind of swing around in. 
I actually saw a picture. I don't know if I've said this in a voiceover, but I just have to share it now. So I saw a picture. I think my friend Sam linked it to me, but it was a it was uh, someone had built two very tall buildings and then placed this jungle bar monkey bar thing in between the two <laughs> and. <laughs> And they posted it on Twitter, I'm pretty sure. But basically, if you do that, you can have a kid crawl from one top of the building to the other top of the building. And they took a picture of it and it looks so funny, even though it's kind of... Don't do that in real life, you know? Just disclaimer, don't do that in real life. But it looked really funny, you know? The things you can do in The Sims. I was just reminded because of that bar thing. I forgot what it's called, it's fine. Um, the theme of today's video, I just don't remember words, you know, as per usual, to be honest. But anyway, they also have a small gardening area with a flower arrangement table and a little beekeeping house as well because I thought it would be cute. Just a little addition. And then other than that, I think that is basically it for the backyard. It's not the most exciting backyard, but... I actually like the flow of it, so I'm okay with it. But that is all I got for you guys today, so I hope you all like this house. If you do, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT, and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And if it's not uploaded when this video goes live, it's because I didn't manage to do it before I went to Copenhagen. So just be patient with me. I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter and also possibly on the community tab, but just keep an eye on it. The same counts for the trade files on Patreon. I just haven't managed to upload them, so just be patient. I'm doing what I can, so just please bear with me. And then other than that, if you like Roblox videos or lifestyle videos, such as videos where people talk about books a little bit too much maybe, I don't know, check out my other channels. They will be linked to in the description box down below. Thank you again so, so much to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. Also, if you want to join the giveaway, scroll back to the start of the video and listen to me explain how you can join. There's one since four pack of your choice on the line. Is that how you say that? I'm not really sure, but if you want to possibly win it, you know, join the giveaway. And that is all I got for you guys today. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. I can't believe someone like me is here with somebody like you. There's something about you and I know why. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah.